All right, so in Power World, we have a pretty straightforward type chart that looks a little something like this. But this chart doesn't really explain everything there is to know about type advantages and disadvantages. For example, Pen King is a dual type pal and is both a water type pal and an ice type pal. And as we can see from this handy dandy chart, fire is strong against ice, but weak against water. So is it super effective against Pen King or not? As nice and straightforward as this chart is, it doesn't really explain all the little nuances of how types interact with one another, especially with dual type pals in the mix. So, in this video, I'll explain everything there is to know about pal types. Alright, starting off, every type has at least one type that it's strong against and one that it's weak against, with fire and neutral types being the only exception to this rule. The way this picture works is that following the directions of the arrows, one type is strong against the next, and if you go backwards, each type is weak against the next. Just for simplicity's sake, let's just talk about the water type. Water is strong against fire, which means that water type moves will do twice as much damage against fire type pals. And conversely, this also means that since fire is weak against water, that fire type moves will do half as much damage to water type pals. In the same way, since water is weak against electric, electric moves will do twice as much damage against water type pals, and water type moves will do half as much damage against electric pals. And we can follow this chain of logic for the entire type chart, and it will end up looking something like this. But something the game in the chart doesn't tell you is that almost every pal type will do half as much damage to itself. In this instance, water type moves will only do half as much damage to water type pals. And this is true for every single type except neutral. For anyone who's played or watched Pokemon, you'll probably recognize this big old chart showing the way every single type interacts with one another in those games. Well, here's what Power World's version looks like. It's much simpler, as most types only interact with about two others. And it's pretty much just what this picture shows, but with the addition of types being resistant against themselves. But let's talk about dual types. Firstly, now is a good time to say this, but just because a pal is, let's say, a grass type pal, does not mean that the pal itself is strong against the ground. Since pals can learn any type of move, either naturally or through skill fruits, it makes more sense to say that the moves themselves are what are strong against pal types. That's why, throughout the video, I've been saying things like, electric moves are strong against ground types. However, despite being able to learn any move, there is a benefit to having pals use their own type's moves. All pals are subject to what's known as STAB, which stands for Same Type Attack Bonus which just means that pals will get about a 20% damage increase for using a move of their own type. For example, a fire type pal using a fire type move would get this bonus. But enough about that, back to dual types. As of now, there are currently 13 different dual type combinations with about 25 different dual type pals. In theory, with the nine different pal types, there could be a total of 36 dual type combinations, so maybe we'll be seeing more of them in the future. However, despite all the different dual types, there are no moves that are more than one type. So when talking about how dual types work, I'll just focus on weaknesses and resistances. Some of these, for the most part, are pretty simple to understand. For example, something like Electric Dragon would just share the resistances and weaknesses of both its individual typings. Electric is resistant against water, and Dragon is resistant against dark. So this dual type is resistant against both, as well as its own types. On the flip side, Electric is weak against Ground, and Dragon is weak against Ice, so Electric Dragon is weak against both. And you can follow this logic for most of the dual type pals. However, it gets a bit more complicated when we look at a pal like Pen King, which is both Water and Ice type. Water is resistant against itself and Fire, and Ice is resistant against itself and Dragon. Then, Water is weak against Electric, and Ice is weak against Fire. Following our logic from before, this dual type is both resistant to and weak against fire. So what happens? Well, the resistance and the weakness multiply together to cancel each other out, meaning fire would do the normal amount of damage to this combination. So to answer the question at the beginning of the video, Pen King is weak against only electric and is resistant to water, ice, and dragon. And with that, we can apply everything we know about types and dual types to come up with a chart like this. And that's pretty much all there is to know about pal types. It is worth noting that certain moves within each typing can have certain effects, such as fire type moves usually applying burning, and so on. But I think I can save talking about the pal moves for another video. For now, enjoy what you know about pal types, and if you ever have any doubts, 
feel free to test the types out for yourself or comment down below. Red damage numbers mean super effective, white numbers mean normal damage, and grayed out numbers mean it's not effective or the opposing power is resistant against that type. Until the next video.